Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk, and continuing our video series with regards to using the Super Elevation view, making edits and customizations directly in the view. So, in the last video, we took care of our uh, cross slopes of our lanes. Now we're going to move on to the shoulders. So, we're going to start by just like we did on the lanes, we're going to do the, the big uh, stations, full supers, normal crowns first. So if we look at the report, for, because uh, we only have a report for the shoulders, we're at 6% at our start station, our 425.89, and then we go all the way to full super, remember this is full super, 644, at minus 1.8. So we're going to control click here, and we said, okay, at 425, We're going to be at minus 6 as we are here, but then up at full super we're going to a minus 1.8. So let's correct the full super, hover, change cross slope, minus 1.8, enter. That looks good. Okay, we're going to come and uh, come back and deal with these cross slopes here. We've got the same issue we had uh, before with some extra grade breaks. We'll come back and correct that. Let's look at the right side full super. The right side at 644 is going to be minus uh, 6.2. So I'm going to escape and con control select right side. It's going to be a change cross slope. Again, that's minus 6.2 because on that side, remember, we said to match the slope on the low side. There we go. And let's keep going to the next curve. Here we are at our 1391. We should be at a minus 1.8 for the right side. So let's hover, change cross slope, minus 1.8, enter. And then we do a control click on our left edge left edge should be at minus 6. So we're going to change cross slope here, minus 6. Okay, that looks good. So now let's go back to the beginning. Now that we have our full supers corrected, let's go and work on the left shoulder first. I'm going to control select. Now here I need to linear transition. Remember we said from full super all the way back to 425. So I can hover and remove this grade break here. I can go ahead and do that. But the problem is when I remove this grade break, it's going to go all the way back to the beginning of the horizontal alignment, which is at 1, because we don't really have a grade break here. So the trick is we're going to make one. So I'm basically going to click here with the mouse, drag it up just a hair. That makes a grade break. I'm going to go back and hover here, remove this grade break, and now I can control select this line and change that cross slope back to minus 6, which it should be at 425. So in quick order there, we just corrected all that little issue there, and that matches exactly what the report says. So then once we go here, we're at uh, minus 1.8. And then we go linearly all the way down to minus 6 on the left side, which we already changed that. And if I control click, I don't have any real grade breaks, just a critical uh, grip there showing me that I have a critical point happening there with another line in the view, but not that particular line. So the left side's in good shape. So let's go back and uh, work on the right side. It's a little trickier. So the right shoulder is uh, in cyan here. And if we look, it is at minus 6, all the way to 640. And if you notice here, we really don't have a 640. So we've got 616 with these other critical stations, but this is just one that's introduced. So we're going to be at minus 6.2 in full super, but just before we want to lock 640, that's what it says, 640, we should be at a minus 6. That's kind of the last 6% station. 
but you can see the 6%. So if I control click, you can see this is not the station that, that uh, we need to be changing. Okay, so how can we do that? Again, if we click on the entire view, that really is our inflection point or our grade break, so we're just going to move this station. So I'm going to say, click here and change that to 640, enter. And we do need to, because of the way I did this, selecting everything, I need to remove the gray breaks from the lines that had nothing to do with this, this other lane and shoulder. But now you can see the cyan line, which is the right, at, right outside shoulder, it goes to 6% up to the 640, and it transitions to minus 6.2 at 644, which is exactly what the report says. And it stays at minus 6.2 to the end of super. Remember 1061 is the end of full super. And then we have another kind of the same issue as before. We've got a special station that's not listed anywhere else, 1070 at minus six. So we, we've got to go add that. So let's go here, all this looks good. If I click on the view, we don't have any critical station at 1070. So we're gonna add it just as we did before. So I'm gonna click on the diagram of the view right click go to open tabular editor we're going to go down to in full super here that was the last station before 1070 we're going to click the plus sign and we're just going to type in 1070 enter give it just a second you can see it shows up as a manual station so remember how this computes all the slopes just based on the linear path it was already on and it's, see how close it is, it's, our, it's real close to minus 6, but we're going to set it to minus 6.0, exactly. And hit the check. Okay, and so now you can see we go from minus 6.2 on that right outside shoulder. And we force it a little gray break. We're up to 6% here. If I control click, you can see it. And then we go from that minus 6 to 1.8, which we've already changed that. It's a linear transition all the way up here to minus 1.8 at full super. And then we continue that, which is out of our window of interest anyway. So that concludes making the manual edits to the left and right shoulder.